The M8 series vinyl cutter is one of our most popular cutters here at US Cutter. A lot of customers call us up to ask us both what's going to come in it and what they should expect when they receive it. We've made this video to walk you through everything from opening up the box to making your first cut. Your M8 series vinyl cutter is going to arrive in a plain box very similar to this. Let's open it up and see what's inside. This is your M8 series vinyl cutter. Next we're going to pull out the accessories box. This is your accessories box. This is going to contain all the cores that you need to run it as well as all the accessories that are going to go with both making the machine and the stand. Next we're going to pull out the stand pieces. Once we've removed all the pieces from the box, it's time to carefully take off the packing materials. We'll go ahead and pop each end cap off. And next, on the right side of the cutter, there's going to be a little plastic clip tie that we'll have to do. Now you'll notice there's also some clip ties along the front to protect the carriage during shipping. We're going to go ahead and clip these as well. Now that we've removed the packing materials from, from our M8 series vinyl cutter, it's time to build the stand. For more detailed instructions, we do have a stand assembly guide that we keep on our support website. The tools and hardware that we're going to need to actually build the stand is all located inside the accessories box. Once you open it up, you'll see a small bag containing screws and the cast for these screws. You're also going to need a number two Phillips head screwdriver for the rest of the install. Keep this accessories box handy as we'll go to that later on in the video. Alright, here we've got our completed M8 vinyl cutter stand. Don't be alarmed if you have any extra parts. Sometimes the manufacturer will send extras just in case you break any. Next, we're going to take a look at what's actually inside the accessories box and go through the next steps to setting up your machine. As we open it up, you're going to see a small little bag here. This bag is going to contain a few items in it. This first one is a green and yellow ground wire. We'll discuss this a little bit later, but we're definitely going to want to use this to set this aside. Next thing that we're going to pull out is a small pack of blades. These are Roland standard cemented carbide blades. The ones that we'll ship with your machine are 45 degree blades. You should have three of them in here. We'll just set those aside as well. This next piece is going to be the miniature driver disc. This disc should only be used as a backup. The newest and updated drivers will be found on our support website. This is going to be the MH ball pen attachment. This you can load in the machine in lieu of a blade to make a plot or a rough draft of your cut or for testing purposes. Next we're going to have our actual blade holder. We'll end up loading a blade into this a little bit later and this is the actual piece that will do the cutting inside of your machine. We also have another bag containing the cords and communication cables to connect your cutter to your computer. The first one that we're going to pull out is just your basic power cord. This is going to go from your wall outlet to the side of the cutter. The next one is going to be a 9-pin null modem serial adapter. This can be used on older computers or computers where you'd rather go with the 9-pin serial as opposed to a standard USB connection. You're also going to get your USB cable. This is probably the most common and popular way that our customers are going to connect their cutters to their computers. This is going to be our 25-pin LPT cable. We do not recommend using this, however, it is an acceptable option for older systems or older setups. All right. Next we've got our MH dust cover. This is a cover that can go over the unit when you're not using it. And last but not least, we've got our instruction manual. 
This manual is okay, but we'd probably recommend that you go on our website and download the most updated and revised version of this. There may also be a, a disc inside your accessories box that's labeled Sign Blazer Elements. This is one of the cutting softwares that's going to come with your M8 series vinyl cutter. If it does come in the box, you can install it. However, we'd recommend that you go on our website and download the most updated version of it. If you're looking for any more information on our cutters or getting set up with our softwares, you can head to uscutter.com and open up our video section or check out our YouTube channel. Once we've got the stand assembled, the last piece is to attach the cutter to it. When we actually pick the cutter up, you'll notice that there's four little rubber feet on the bottom. We're going to place those inside the holes and that's how the cutter attaches to the stand. The ground wire is this yellow and green wire that was in your accessories box. We attach this to the machine to prevent static electrical interference. Where we're actually going to attach this is from one of the screws on the bottom of the machine, one of the black ones, we're going to loosen up that, attach one end underneath that, then we're going to follow the other end down to one of the screws on the inside of the stand. We want to make sure when we're installing this that both ends of the wire are touching metal. The metal to metal connection is essential. So next we're actually going to install the blade into the blade holder. We want to remove the red tip from the blade which is going to expose the sharp end. We want to take the dull end and slide that into the black bottom of the blade holder. As we slide in you'll feel it slowly go in and then it will lock magnetically. Now once it's locked to make sure that it's in if you just press this top rod the blade should expose and then retract. The blade depth is going to be very key. Either too much or too little is going to be the difference between either a perfect or a bad cut. You'll see on the blade holder that there are two small bearings at the top. These are used to adjust the blade. The gold one is going to act as a lock. So to adjust the blade first, you're going to loosen up the gold one. Once the gold one's loose, the silver bearing will spin freely. If you move this clockwise, you'll expose more blade. If you move this counterclockwise, you'll retract less. We recommend, for most standard vinyls and signed vinyls, taking the blade depth, looking at about the thickness of a credit card, and taking about one half of that. Now that seems like not too much blade exposed at all when in reality that could be the perfect amount. Once we've got our blade depth set, the next important part is to actually load the blade into the cutter. You'll notice this little gold thumb screw. We're going to want to loosen this up. You'll also notice where we're going to load the blade almost looks like a figure eight or there's almost two potential spots where we can load it. We always want to load this in the top slot or the slot closest to the back of the machine. Once you have it in, you'll just want to slide the blade down so that the flange is flush. Then you just want to gently tighten up the thumb screw don't necessarily need to make it too tight, but just tight enough that the blade won't move at all during the cut. We're almost done setting up our M8 series vinyl cutter. The next step is to install both the drivers and the software. There's a lot of different software as well as driver options depending on what type of computer and operating system you're using. We've compiled a set of videos that we definitely encourage you to watch. They're going to walk you through the next pieces of setting up your M8 series vinyl cutter. Once you've got our drivers and the computer side configured, it's time to actually plug your M8 series vinyl cutter in. Go ahead and plug it in, power it on. Now we're ready to cut. If you have any further questions, you can always get a hold of us at our support website at support.uscutter.com. Thanks for watching.